Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is officially out. There are a lot of things you guys need to know that will help you out on your adventures. So here's 15 tips that'll help you as you start your game. Make sure to hit that like button if you're excited for the launch of this game and let's get on into it. The first tip of this game is actually really big and can impact your whole experience. Go inside the menu, go to options, and there you can play with the tech speed so you can make the game fast. I like it fast because I like speeding through games a lot. You can change the windows. They literally have 24 different types of windows. So whatever you like, you can pick. And I'm going with this, the Pokedex looking one. You have the battle effect option, which you can turn on and off. So if you want to see the bubble beams, you can see the bubble beams. And if you don't want to see the bubble beams, you don't have to just hit the Pokemon and be done. This is very good if you're trying to speed through the game. Next option is battle style. They have switch and set. Switch is when you KO a Pokemon and the game asks you, would you like to switch into this Pokemon? Because the opponent is switching into this Pokemon. And set means the game will no longer ask you. And this will make your game a lot faster. Send to boxes is the next option. You have manual and automatic. I like to leave it on automatic so the Pokemon just go into the box. I'm one of those Pokemon trainers who don't like using nicknames on my Pokemon. If you want to have that option show up after you finish a Pokemon fight, you can choose give to have that. And if you don't want that to keep showing up, just hit don't give. I'm going to go with the don't give over here. Gyroscope is basically going to be tilt controls. If you're into that, leave it on. If you don't want to, don't use it. Auto save is a very important thing to have on or off, depending on your situation in the game. Most likely, if you're making linear progression, you'll probably want to leave it on. So if anything happens to your game or your switch dies, you'll have your progress saved. If you're doing specific things where you're saving before a fight, like a legendary Pokemon or doing shiny hunting, you probably want it off so you can manually save beforehand so keep that in mind when you're playing the game when you have your auto save on or off very important to check it please do so you don't mess up if you give your pokemon an embarrassing nickname and don't want it to show up this is literally the option for you to show or not to show this option over here we have the background music you can turn it down completely you have the sound effects like this clicking noise that you hear with the beeps and you have the option of putting up the pokemon cry volume all the way up or all the way down and that's pretty much it for the options. Now, this tip is for people who like shiny hunting. Your starters are not shiny locked. Here's the problem, though. You have to save before entering the lake area where you'll be able to open up this briefcase. And when you click on the Pokemon, you will not be able to see if they are shiny or not. You will have to get the starter of your choice and then find out if it's going to be shiny. So in this case, why don't we try it out? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab Pipup here. And we're going to go into a Pokemon battle. And hopefully, we find out if it's shiny. There's no way. <laughs> when you're in Jubilife City and complete the Poke app, Poke Tech first quest, you want to make sure to remember this building as this building is very important that you need to keep coming back to every single time you get an odd number of badges as this guy will give you a new Pokemon app every single time. So at gym one, three, five, seven. And when you talk to this guy, he'll say, I'm the president of the Poketech company. I'm developing a new Poke Edge app, but it's not quite done yet. My guess is that it will be ready after you earn a gym badge. Another very important thing to do in Jubilife City is exit out of the west side, aka the left side, and talk to this guy right over here, and you'll be able to get an old rod, which will enable you to catch some magic carp. So he'll tell you how to fish, give you the old rod, and once you get it, you should be able to go into your bag see it inside of your key items my fishing rod is in the water just like that maybe we'll get something probably not i did not get anything while we're here another very important tip is registering items to your control so when you click on an item you can hit register and you can pick where you want to put it so i can put this guidebook here and i, and I can take my fishing rod that i just got and i can register and put this over here and you can do this with the other items that you'll receive in the game that are very important like your bicycle your versus seeker your grand underground tools etc once you beat the first badge you're going to come back to jubilife city and go to the tv station once you go inside of the station you're going to head over to the third floor just go up the steps or take the elevator okay we're on the third floor we're going to go over and talk to this guy in the purple and yellow once you do that, he will give you access to the mystery gift, which should pop up on your menu. You need to click on the mystery gift, go to get via internet, connect to the internet, and then you should be able to receive an egg, which contains a mana fee in it. You have until February 21st to receive this. So do not, do not miss out on this. If you're watching this and don't have the game yet, you have pretty much until that time to get this game to get the mana fee. 
Another very important tip to know is that in the early game, you get a certain amount of TMs that have a certain amount of uses. So for example, I have TM10 over here, which is workup. I only have three of them. The moment I use it, they go away. So if I use this item and I give it to a Piplup, Piplup forgot charm and learn workup instead, I will then be down to two of that TM. Later on in the game, you'll have access to multiple TMs. But until that point, you want to be very conservative with how you use your TMs and be very careful about which Pokemon you want to use them on and not just use them all up right away. HMs have been replaced with TMs in this game. Example is Rock Smash. Rock Smash is now TM98. And the cool thing about it is you don't even have to teach a Pokemon the TM in order for it to be used outside of battle. But do note, you have to beat the gym leader in order to use it outside of battle. And once you beat the gym leader, you just go ahead and let's see what's going to help us out. A Bidoof, a funny meme from back in the day. Bidoof was the HM slave and everyone taught that Pokemon all the hidden ability moves so they can progress in the game. And you had to always have it in your party in order to succeed and get through the game. But now you don't need it in your party to travel. You can have a team on your own without a Bidoof. Unless you like Bidoof, then have a Bidoof on your team. While you're on Route 203, you want to encounter an Abra. Abras are really cool because they have the ability to teleport. And teleport outside of battle allows you to go to the last Pokemon Center you visited. So it's pretty helpful to go somewhere or go back to a place you wanted to visit. Another really cool thing about Abra is that it has the ability synchronize. Which means that when it encounters a Pokemon in the wild and it's the first Pokemon in your party, regardless of whether it's alive or not, it will force the Pokemon you encounter to have the same nature as the Abra. So what I like to do is catch a bunch of Abras when I want to go Pokemon hunting later on in the game and pick the one with the nature I want to be out so I can catch that Pokemon with that nature so I don't need to change it later on in the game with the nature mints because they cost battle points in the end game. Once you arrive in Floroma Town for the first time, you're going to see a lady and a guy in the corner here. They are right in front of you and these people give you easy mythical Pokemon. You talk to him, you'll get a Jirachi. You talk to her, you'll get a Mew. But the catch is, you have to have had save data for Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee for the Mew, or Pokemon Sword and Shield for the Jirachi. Now, don't worry, you don't have to go out and buy the game necessarily. If you know somebody with a copy of the game, you just have to put it in your Switch, boot up the game, and then take it out. You're done, and you have the save data, and you'll get the Pokemon. You'll have your Jirachi, and you have your Mew. I still am mind blown that they give you these Pokemon this early in the game. Another tip is if you want to have multiple save profiles, maybe you want to start with three different starters on three different saves, no problem. All you got to do is click on the game, select the extra account you want to have. And if you don't have an extra Switch account, all you got to do is hit the plus button. You're going to have create new user and you're going to plug in all the information that you need to do by selecting your icon and entering your nickname follow that whole thing and then you can boot up the game in that switch account and there you go you will literally have access to all the pokemon all over again on this alt save account another very important tip is when you're in floroma town is talking to this honey person over here and grabbing honey and applying it to any tree in the game that looks like this so every time you see it just slap honey on it and in about six to eight hours you'll get a pokemon spawn once the tree shakes and you have a chance of it being a rare pokemon like munchlax or heracross i go into the full depth guide of honey trees in another video that i'm uploading or if this is the future it'll be somewhere up here in the video so make sure you have notifications on and are subscribed so you know when that video drops do not date skip in this game. Do not change the time. Do not change the date because the game will internally mess you up and reset and push you another 24 hours as a punishment. So whatever you do, do not, do not, do not time skip. If there are events, just wait for the events on that specific day to happen. I'm telling you this because I date skipped and everything got messed up from the underground vendors to a drift bloom event to the honey trees. It was bad. In Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, there are 493 Pokemon within the game itself, but you don't have access to that national decks until you complete the regional deck. Once you see all those Pokemon, which you don't have to catch, you'll get access to the national deck, which will allow you to start catching a lot more Pokemon. So go ahead and make sure to encounter 
encounter a lot of trainers and go into patches of grass that you never explored just explore the game basically and the game will literally complete your decks for you without you even really trying hard the final tip of this video is as you go into eternal forest you'll be joined by cheryl now cheryl is literally a free npc that will do doubles battles with you and help you go through the forest and heal your pokemon after every single battle so if you want to power level up some pokemon within this forest this is a great spot to do it before moving on to Eterna City. Once you enter Eterna City, after getting out of the forest, you're going to see this house here, and it's going to have to do with the biggest part of this game, the Grand Underground. But friends, that's going to be for another video, a full-on guide explaining everything about the Grand Underground. So you don't want to miss that. Make sure to like, comment, let me know some tips that you guys maybe found in the beginning that you can share with people down in the comments below that I may have missed. And let me know what was the most useful. I will see you in the next video, the Grand Underground Ultimate video. My name is Philly Beats You, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.